Imagine if everyone who ever doubted you not only had to say that they were wrong, but they had to admit it to the entire world. That's what happened for Tom Brady, and we're going to use what happened for him to your advantage in manifesting your desires. You'll understand exactly what I'm talking about by the end of this video. This is the law of attraction like you've never heard it before. Hey, it's Andrew, otherwise known as the guy who wrote the last Law of Attraction book you'll ever need to read. And if you want to check out the book, you could very easily do so by going to lastlawofattractionbook.com, which will forward to the book's listing on Amazon. It's available paperback, hardcover, audiobook, and of course, in Kindle. Today, we've got part two of a two-part series titled Tom Brady and the Law of Attraction. And just to be clear, I don't know Tom Brady's views on the Law of Attraction. I don't know if he's even aware of it. I don't know if he agrees with it. But as you were able to tell by the last video, that doesn't really matter for our specific purposes. And of course, in the last video, I kind of highlighted the fact that he is doing something unheard of in his 22nd season in the NFL at age 45, actually competing and performing at a high physical level. In fact, as high as he's ever done, which again, by society standards, should be physically impossible. And I showed you in the one to team method how to use that to your advantage in visualizing and manifesting and attracting the things that you want. Today, we've got another manifesting method for you. But before we get into that, let's talk about the new jersey I'm wearing here. And the reason I'm wearing this jersey in particular, these colors for Tom Brady's jersey in particular, is because these were the colors. This was the jersey that Tom Brady was wearing at age 43 when he won his seventh Super Bowl and fifth Super Bowl MVP with a brand new team this being the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, this is really important because Tom Brady spent most of his career in New England under coach Bill Belichick, and all those years that they won together, six Super Bowls in total, there was always this lingering question of, well, who gets more of the credit, the coach or the quarterback? Who is the reason this is really happening? And, you know, honestly, it's both of them. They both had a contributing factor to this. But of course, the way sports works and the way, you know, sports shows work and talking heads work, they're always looking for news. They're always looking for headlines. They're always looking to capture viewer interest. So they have these kinds of conversations, one of them being Belichick or Brady. And of course, a lot of people for a lot of years were giving more of the credit to Bill Belichick, who for those last years that Tom Brady was in New England, you know, as reports would say, was actually trying to push him out even though he was still performing at such a high level. And for all of these years, you would see all these people, all these talking heads on TV, whether it's SportsCenter or anywhere else, predicting the downfall of Tom Brady, saying this is the year where he finally stops performing, saying, you know what, he's done, he's over, he doesn't have it anymore, there's no way he could win anymore, there's certainly no way he can get to another Super Bowl or win that Super Bowl anymore. All these years, every single time someone predicted that Brady was not going to make it further, he proved them wrong. And what I want you to do is I want you to take this as inspiration for a manifesting method that I like to call the prove them wrong method. So just as with Tom Brady, where he had all these talking heads saying that this was finally it for him, he didn't have it anymore, he could not win anymore, then have to report the next day after he won the Super Bowl, had a report that he was the champion, that he did win, that he did perform, that he was everything that he ever said he was and that they were wrong. I want you picturing whatever it is that you wanna manifest, whatever that thing is that you know there are people in your life that are doubting you, imagine them on television having to report your success, having to admit that they were wrong about you, broadcasting to the world that whatever it is that you want, whatever win or triumph or accomplishment, whatever manifestation you want to desire, they're announcing to the world that you have in fact accomplished it, that you have in fact manifested that thing that you want. Now, the really cool thing about this method, again, is you could really utilize your imagination to make it more vivid, to make it more fun, to make it silly, to make it serious. The details are up to you. Like for me, if I'm doing it, I'm actually, you know, envisioning an ESPN logo as if it's like a sports center type of thing. I'm picturing, you know, my naysayers 
you know, wearing suits, wearing ties with all the graphics, like anything that you would actually see on SportsCenter when they're actually reporting on a Tom Brady Super Bowl win, I'm actually picturing that for whatever circumstances I want to manifest that people are doubting me. So an example for me, even though I didn't do this, what I could have done looking back on this is, you know, selling 100,000 copies of the last Law of Attraction book you'll ever need to read, I could have pictured all my naysayers, all the people that said that it couldn't be done, that I couldn't sell that many, that I wouldn't have that level of success. I would have actually pictured them as if they're on SportsCenter with the ESPN logo there reporting to the world, you know, Andrew has done it. He's actually sold over 100,000 copies, despite us saying that it couldn't be done. Andrew is still performing at that high level and he has no indicators whatsoever of slowing down from here. I would actually vividly picture that and have a lot of fun with it. Again, do it the way you wanna do it, but that is the prove them wrong method. Simply visualize your naysayers having to report to the world that they were wrong about you and then providing the details of your win, your victory, your triumph, your accomplishment, your manifestation. The funny thing about Tom Brady is because he wins so much and because football fans are so passionate and enthusiastic, he's got a lot of people that love him and a lot of people that don't love him so much. But all I gotta say is from a law of attraction standpoint, you could see why I'm a fan of him very recently because here again, right now performing at the highest of levels in the NFL at age 45 and having his most recent Super Bowl victory with a brand new team, a brand new head coach, brand new circumstances, age 43, seven Super Bowl wins at that point, his fifth Super Bowl MVP. This is amazing stuff, proving everybody wrong. Who could not be a fan of this? Who would not respect this? And who, if they follow the law of attraction, would not use this as motivation and as inspiration to manifest what they want in their lives as well? That's what this is all about. I'm hoping that you enjoyed the last video where I taught you the one, two, T method. I'm hoping that you'll enjoy the prove them wrong method. And as always, Thank you so much for watching. Who knows what I'll have next time in another video, but until then, if you've not done so already, you can check out my book, The Last Law of Attraction Book You'll Ever Need to Read on Amazon by going to lastlawofattractionbook.com. Thank you as always for watching, and I will look forward to seeing you next time.